events and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Movement disorders like Parkinson's often affect a person's muscle, motor skills, and even speech. But one Miami neurosurgeon has found a better way to control involuntary movements. While it's not a cure, the surgical technique offers patients a better way of life. Dr. Santiago Figueroa is one of the few neurosurgeons in Florida trained to perform this surgery. He joins us now to explain how it works, and thanks very much for joining us. And, and basically, this is it. This is the key to it. And it works like a, a pacemaker for the heart, only this is a pacemaker for the brain, right? That is correct. Thank you for having us here as a period today. Um, um, Neurosurgery has uh, specialized uh, and sub-specialized in many areas of uh, diseases of the brain. Uh, one of the uh, in bulk or modern specialties now is what is called functional neurosurgery. We're trying to concentrate in the treatment of diseases that before didn't have significant mm -hmm. cures, including Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, epilepsy, uh, as well as others now getting into the psychiatry field like depression and obsessive compulsive right. disorder. And we find out that with electrical stimulations, we could control hyperactive areas of the brain that would allow us to uh, modulate them so the uh, brain can uh, uh, control cer certain activities like excessive movements as mm -hmm. a seen in Parkinson's disease. And we're looking at some animation on how you're actually, you put a wire inside the brain and, and again, uh, the trick here is to find the affected part of the brain and also the right type of stimulation, right? That is correct. The, uh, uh, the disease that is called by hyperactivities in parts of the brain uh, is identified and, and the goal is to try to determine what parts of the brains are the one hyperactive so you can block that hyperactivity with electrical uh, discharges. Mm -hmm. um, we have identified very well which parts of the brains are affected in Parkinson's disease for example and we have a couple targets that we can use uh, to stimulate just like a pacemaker stimulates the heart to keep working we stimulate those areas to block their hyperactivity and control particularly movement and other symptoms. Uh, people who have essential tremor, we know is pr the precise location mm -hmm. that we should stimulate to do that. Okay, just to mention, this this is actually connected to the the uh, the battery, so to speak. Uh, this is placed underneath your, your your underneath your skin right here. That is correct. And this goes underneath the skin uh, all the way to the brain. Then you have a wire that actually goes into the affected part of the brain that's connected to this uh, this uh, tube here, right? Correct. That is correct. The the, uh, the uh, goal of the surgery is to deliver that tiny wire okay. with the tip of it to that precise area of the brain. So a lot of the things that we do during the procedure is to verify that we select like a stealth navigation system, uh, the precise area to localize that tip of the wire. Then everything is tunneled under the skin and connected to the stimulator, which is controlled with a remote machine uh, from the outside. And this really does improve the, the quality of life of the patient. We have several, several studies come out recently that actually uh, disclose the effectiveness of on Parkinson's disease. Uh, it significantly improved their quality of life and decreased the medication they can take, re reducing the secondary effects that they get from those medications. That's amazing. Now, this this is the key because this little battery can actually uh, you can change the the type of stimulation that comes out of this battery. There, how, how many different uh, settings does this have? There are thousands of settings that that battery can be uh, or, uh, stimulated at and organized at, depending on the level of the disease, the type of the disease, and the progression of it. We can mm -hmm. put a battery at a setting that it might be low at the early settings, and as the disease progress, because remember this is not a cure, sure, right? Uh, as the disease become worse, we can increase the, the amount of stimulation and control the symptoms better. So for epilepsy, you can have something that, that occurs when the epileptic seizure occurs to try to counteract it, but in Parkinson's, this would always be on. This will always be on. In, actually, in epilepsy surgery now, the FDA is uh, looking at uh, hopefully soon approve it so we can stimulate continuously and reduce the number of seizures that a patient has. To, the studies have shown okay. up to 50%. Amazing medical advancement. Thanks very much. This hour's newsmaker taught us how a new surgical technique can treat patients with movement disorders. Get excited about baseball season. See the Marlins spring training on Comcast On Demand. Select Get Local, then go to Marlins TV. I'm Spiro Kenton. Thanks for joining us.